Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video six of the Gas Venting with Table series. Today we discuss GVR C215. This GVR discusses a scenario where we have either a lateral, a vent connector rise, or a vent height that falls outside of the actual table values. If you have not watched the first four videos of this series, it is time to do it right now. In other words, this video will not make sense. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code by CSA of Canada, and I'm using the 2015 edition. The easiest way to do this is to go through an example. I have a 125,000 BTU fan-assisted furnace with a 10-foot vent connector lateral, and the vent itself is 18 feet tall. Both the vent and vent connector are double wall or B-vent. So when we turn to table C1 to size this up, we very quickly notice there is no 18 foot vent height designation. There's a 15 foot, and on the following page, a 20 foot designation for vent height, but no 18. So we need to do some math and some thinking to make this work to find a table value in between there somehow. So what we need to do is come down to the 15 foot vent height, come across on the 10 foot lateral, and see if we can find something really close to 125,000 BTUs in the fan max column. Three inches too small, four inches good to 121,000 BTUs. Now that's close, so we're gonna write that down. So now we need to come down to the 20 foot vent height and go across on the 10 foot lateral. And I need to go to the four inch section because I need to compare apples to apples. Let's look at the fan max. It's 133,000 BTUs. Let's write that down because now we need to interpolate. Now the math for interpolation is not difficult math, but it has multiple steps and I'm gonna bring you through one step at a time. The first step will be to find the difference in vent height according to the tables. So I have a 20 foot vent height minus a 15 foot vent height equals a five foot vent height difference for the tables. And now we need to find the difference in the BTU values that we found on the tables. But from here on in, we're gonna to refer to BTUs as MBH like they have in the tables. That is thousands of BTUs. So 133 MBH is 133,000 BTUs. 133 minus 121 equals 12 MBH. Now we better write this down because we're gonna need these numbers later. And now we need to find the MBH per foot of vent height. To do this, we simply take the table BTU value difference that we already calculated and divide it by the table vent height difference that we already calculated. So 12 MBH divided by five feet of vent height difference equals 2.4 MBH per foot of vent. Now we need to find the difference between our actual vent height and the smaller vent height from the tables. Actual vent height was 18 feet and the smaller vent table was 15 feet. So 18 feet minus 15 feet equals an actual vent height difference of three feet. And now we need to multiply our MBH per foot by the actual vent height difference. So 2.4 MBH per foot times three feet equals a corrected MBH value of 7.2 MBH. Final step, we need to add the corrected BTU value to the smaller BTU value from the tables. So 7.2 plus 121 MBH equals an interpolated MBH value of 128.2 MBH. So what this means for us is that 125 MBH fan assisted furnace may in fact be vented with four inch. And if our math would have proved otherwise, we would have had to up one vent size and recheck. Now for the next part, we're gonna introduce you to a little tool that I made for interpolating vent height. If you look down in the description below, you're gonna see a link for a vent interpolator. Well, why don't you click on that? That'll take you to Google Drive. And we're gonna get you to download this thing because you cannot edit it in Google Drive. To download, click on File and go down to Download. Now choose which format you wanna use. Now after you've finished the download, open it up and we'll show you how to use this. We'll go through the same example we just did. First of all, we have the actual vent height and feet. You're gonna click on that box and type in 18. Lower vent height, table and feet. So this is the lower vent height table. We're gonna type in 15 there. Upper vent height and feet, and that is gonna be 20. Now we enter in the MBH value from the lower vent height table, which is 121 MBH. Then we enter in the MBH value from the upper vent height table, 133. And look at that. 
it spits out an interpolated MBH value of 128.2, just like we calculated before. Well, let's get a little bit more practice with the calculator with this next example. I have a 120 MBH fan assisted furnace with a one foot vent connector rise. I have a 65 MBH draft hood equipped water heater with a two foot vent connector rise and a 37 foot vent. The vent connectors are single wall, the vent is double wall, so we should be using table C4. In looking at table C4, we will notice that there is no 37 foot vent height area. There is a 30 foot and a 50 foot, so let's get all three of those numbers entered into the calculator. Actual vent height, 37 feet. Lower vent height, 30 feet. Upper vent height, 50 feet. Let's start with 120 MBH fan assisted furnace. We will go down to the 30 foot vent height, across on a one foot vent connector rise. Four inch is good up to 110 MBH. Not quite enough, but that's okay for now. Now let's go down to the 50 foot vent height with a one foot vent connector rise. And we're gonna go across to the four inch and we're good to 128 MBH in the fan max for that size. Well, let's get those values put into our calculator. MBH from lower vent height table is 110. MBH value from upper vent height table is 128. And the interpolated MBH value will be 116.3 MBH, which is slightly too small. So guess what? We need to bump up our vent size by one. And if we check the tables, we'll find out that is more than adequate. Let's size up the vent connector for that draft hood equipped water heater at 65 MBH. Go down to a 30 foot vent height across on a two foot vent connector rise and we will find out that NAT DP for four inch is good to 62,000 BTUs. Now we head down to the 50 foot vent height across on a two foot vent connector rise and we go across to four inch and we find out that that is good to a NAT DP of 70 MBH. Let's plug those two numbers into the calculator, see what we get. Now we don't need to change anything in the feet because that's all done already, but the MBH value for the lower vent height should be 62 and the MBH value for the upper vent height should be 70. And the interpolated MBH value should be 64.8 now, which is slightly too small. So once again, we need to bump up our vent size by one. So that is to five inch as well for the vent connector. It's time to size up the common vent, but first I need to add up my BTU load. I have 120 MBH plus 65 equals 185 MBH. Now, even though our vent height is 37 feet and it falls in between the values, if I look at a four inch common vent under DP F plus N, well, on 30 foot, it's only good to 123. And on 50 foot, it's only good to 139. So I can't use four inch anyways. But if I go over to the five inch, I'm gonna notice on 30 foot, it's good to 188 and on 50 foot, it's good to 224. That means I don't need to interpolate at all. It's already done for me. I'm gonna have a five inch common vent. Well, thank goodness this video is over. Feel free to give it a massive thumbs down, but stay tuned to the next video where we're gonna talk about chimneys and using tables to size chimneys and vent connectors going to them. Until then, have a great day.